Good evening and welcome to episode 118 of season 8 of Factory Town where we, I, us, maybe, have done many things off camera. I've been playing for just over five hours uh, doing things and getting things sorted out and uh, uh, getting things going and blah and everything is just, oh, I'd say, I'd say playing for five hours. I've been waiting for things for five hours, basically. Uh, this, this took an age to do uh we have as you can see every uh mine has an earth booster and has three earth boosters and each one of these done here it took an age to do because it was like hey i can build loads of them and then i run out of mana brick and i wait for the mana brick to build and i do more and then i run out of earthstone and i run and, and it's just oh my days uh it took a really long time to do but it's done it's done everyone has a boost there including the coal which is not you not using the coal anymore but everyone has a boost which is fantastic and uh, has sped things up a bit so hopefully we'll uh we'll get our our minds going in really really well so that's uh one of the things off the, i have the list i have the list here bomb here we go here we go so um all mines three other shrines done uh, check all house drops i went around and checked all the drop-offs to make sure they are the correct drop-offs that's fine i put in brackets there check stock levels because i need to go around and check what's not being made properly to find out what we're missing but i haven't done that yet uh balance of the houses has all been done uh, we are 160 houses and what i've done is I've gone around, you can see we've got houses here, um, and I have added 26 houses to each place because that's the level 8. 26 level 10 houses makes a, uh, see down here in the bottom right, uh, it says linked house level equals level 8. That gives us a level 8 town centre, which allows our buildings to get an 80% bonus. So I put that everywhere. I put that there. I thought that was the best way to put 26 everywhere. Apart from magic up here, uh, magic actually has 48 houses added to it, which is all the rest of the houses basically. So Everyone's got 26. Uh, the farm doesn't. The farm has uh, five. You see, I've got stuff here. I'll show you in a minute. Uh, the farm has um, uh, eight houses because it only needs level five because it gets 100% bonus at level five. So so that's there. And then all the rest of the houses have gone to magic to try and level this up as high as we can. I didn't hit level 10. We only hit level nine. And I can't get level 10 because you need 52 houses, I think it is. 52 level 10 houses to hit level 10. And if I take one house away from these, they drop to level seven. So... Didn't want to do that. Didn't want to do that. Maybe our first research will be research more houses. Um, uh, house maximum. Uh, increases it by five. And then we can put the five here. And then we'll get this to level ten. And we'll do that. Don't know. Um, but the other one. Uh, the other one on the list here. Boom, it says clear out town centres. We have done that. Sort of. So this town centre is now empty. Uh, this town centre is not empty. You see here. Um, but it does have a packager next to it. And what the packager is doing is taking any goods that it gets in uh, that are not packaged, I package them and putting them back in the town centre. The reason this doesn't have this has a few things in is because this is the last town centre I built, so it is the one that everything gets dumped into. Um, if I delete something in the world, it ends up in this town centre here. They were going into this one for a long time because this was how we had the town centre. You see, I've got loads of packages set up here because there was so much stuff. I basically took everything out of all the town centres, put it into here. I've taken everything from here and have packaged it so everything is now packaged and then what I'm going to do is figure out a way to get it out of here and back into the world I don't know exactly how I'm going to do that um we've got some in here which I'm just going to delete like depleted earth I'm just going to delete some of these things that are going through um but I want to reuse it all if that makes sense I want to take it out of here and put it back into the world where we're using it and that's what these packages were for. They were doing things here. You see there's a couple with little bits and pieces in. Um, I'm just going to scrap the little odd bits. Uh, and then this can all go. So, bump, 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 bump. Smash, smash, smash. Smash, smash, smash. Uh, had I realised that the town centre at Artistry was the one that was going to be the main one, that's where I would have put everything in. But I didn't. I didn't realise that was the one, so I moved everything to the farm one, thinking, hey, this is the one that's got the most stuff in it. And then as I was doing stuff, I was like, oh, wh why has this got stuff in it again? And, uh, oh, this, this is our town centre. could move them. I could swap them around and change, but, um, meh. Um, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. So I just need to basically, you see that I've deleted all the things, and now we have loads of stone brick and, and other bits and pieces in here. I guess I left some bits spare. Um, I need to come back and check this every now and then, just to make sure I delete some things that are stuck in here because it can only hold four items and doesn't hold anything um, but if there's two magic conveyors in there it will not 
doing things here. Another magic conveyor drones here. And these are all packed up now. So I basically just need to come every now and then, check this packager and delete some things that are in here. Yeah, we're going to lose some resources, but you know, what's one reinforced plank and a couple of only pipes? So delete those and they won't bump. And yeah, so, so when that sort of happens, so now it's stuck. It can't do any more um, because it's not going to output the right things. So I'll just come here and I'll just go delete, 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 delete. And it's going to take Omni Pipes, ironically, and uh, drop them in there. So, there we go. Boom. Yeah, and take the Omni Pipes and package them. Uh, and then we'll send the package stuff out somewhere down there. Um, I probably shouldn't be packaging stuff like this um, in certain cases. Um, I might actually just scrap that from this town centre and just let this town centre fill up with stuff and every now and then do this. Because, like, Omni Stone, Omni Pipe, stuff like that, we're going to use. And we're not packaging them anywhere. So. I don't know whether. Um, oh we can put him there. Oh no that, that's, that's mana pipes isn't it. Yeah that's mana pipes. So we'd have to. Uh, hmm. I'll have to figure that one out. Ah, for now we can just package it fine. And then as I said we need to take all the stuff out of here. Um, I'll do that. I'll do that again off camera. I might just build some airships. And just get them. Hey airship would you grab package paper. And put it wherever it needs to go. And uh, then would you grab um, stone and then just grab the next one? You know, build, build a couple of airships and just have them grab the things and do the things and uh, and uh, just let them re go into the world. It's not that important. We are producing all this stuff. I just I just want to use it. Um, but today we're going to actually work on the cloth thing that we were going to work on ages ago and never did because I keep getting distracted by things. But it's good. It's good. So everything is good and my to do list is done. So okay, okay. Uh, oh. Um, I don't know if I mentioned this last episode. Um, I was looking at these trains picking up our uh, eaters. No, I didn't. This was between us. Um, and I found I had four earth trains and then two of each other train. And I was really confused about it because I was like, do, do we use earth somewhere else? And I was going around looking and I'm, we don't. We, we use all of them just down here. Um, uh, down here. <laughs> Go to the right place. Um, uh, there. Yeah, um, so we use all the different ones down here, earth, air, fire, water, and I'm like, why Why would I have so many earth trains compared to the other ones? And I don't know, maybe I'm missing something somewhere. I did go around and look, and I don't see us using earth anywhere else, so maybe I'm missing something, I don't know. Uh, but what I've done is I've dropped it down so that there are three trains of each type, and then we've got one train spare here, um, so we can just use them for whatever we need to, whenever we need to. Okay. Okay, so with that in mind, um, there are a few things that are still struggling. So, like for instance, necklaces. Uh, necklaces are really struggling to keep up because they don't have enough polished stone. Um, and polished stone is just not being delivered fast enough. Polished stone is here, isn't it? Yeah, it's just not being made fast enough. And I don't know how to speed this up. Oh, this this is the one where it's struggling for stone getting in here. Um, oh. That was something, that was something. It was mentioned in the last comments and now my comment page is working so I can look at it again. Don't know what broke with it last time I recorded, but um, uh, the, uh, um, uh, Tom, Tom Faulkner uh, mentioned about, um, that I was saying that the Omni pipes are slower uh, or the same speed as uh, shoots. Um, but of course, only pipes can go underground. So we can leave the shoots here, and then we can go underground. And uh, we can put some only pipes in. So we can do this. Which will speed up the process. Uh, unfortunately, the packager can't unpack fast enough to, to keep up with that. But, but that's okay. Um, uh, we can always add boosters to it as well. So let's add a point booster to this. Speed it up. So, there we go, boom, uh, and then we've got the shoots there. And then when we research the Omni Pipe upgrades, we can replace the shoots with Omni Pipe upgrades. Uh, yeah, so, there we go. so now that's that's full, um, and these are all full now, so these are actually running all the time. They're not struggling at all now, which is awesome. Uh, maybe we'll get more, more polished stone in. Maybe we won't, I don't know. Maybe they just aren't fast enough at the moment. Um, they do have boosters. We can add more workers to them. I think we'll do that. I think we'll throw five workers in each one and just watch it absolutely collapse. Because 
and go boom, 18 seconds. Um, and then I know what we'll definitely have to do. Um, definitely have to do this. Run a second line for the packages. So boom and boom. There you go. We have two lines going in there. Um, and then we'll upgrade this as well. Then they're out of stone, <laughs> and I can't I can't speed that up anymore. Um, uh, oh, because you're out of stone, you're actually run out of stone. Um, yeah, we've used up all the stone here. So, so yeah, stone throughput is going to become very interesting. This is this is going to start becoming a very interesting struggle here. So we'll see where it goes. And um, another thing that was pointed out was that I could sell water, and I, I mentioned water a while ago. Um, uh, that perhaps we should start selling. Uh, well, actually, right at the back of the beginning of the uh, uh, the yeah, right at the back of the beginning, um, I mentioned uh, in houses uh, there is a water category which I wasn't bothering with, but we won't get our bonus happiness. We won't get that eight thousand one hundred and thirty-two happiness unless we sell water as well, uh, because that is one happiness that would take one hundred and sixty away from it. So. We could sell it. Um, it is a free yellow coin, basically, because wells work for free. Um, so it's a free yellow coin, and that might help us because our yellow coins may start dropping soon. Uh, they're all right for the moment, but I've just added all these uh, uh, extra um, recharges here that all use um, five yellow coins uh, a second, potentially. So. Um, well, not a second, it depends on how fast these go here. So, um, yeah, it's currently using 2.5 a second. Uh, but there's loads of them, so our yellow coin usage might become a problem. Now, when it comes to that, I could either put in a well at the end and run it down the whole street, because they don't actually use that much water. They they really don't. They consume uh, one every 20 seconds, and a well produces... One water every two seconds. So a single well can run ten houses. So I could put it at the end and just run a pipe down. Um, because we've got one, two, three, four, five, six houses. Uh, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Well, some places have two two houses in, in, in line. So, Or I could put a well next to each house. Um, which I'm kind of more in favour of. Um, grabbing a well and putting it next to the house. Like there. And then doing the pipe underground. Because that way we haven't got pipes going around everywhere. Not that we're using uh, water pipes that much anyway. Um, we're not we're not really using them in many places at all. I think we don't, we're not using them anywhere really. So it wouldn't be a problem having to go in there. There are some, like here. There are some things moving around. So um, I just feel like having having the well right next door. And then, and then just doing that. Um, would work. Yeah, it's a bit of a waste. Uh, the... Um, town the I'm a little concerned there that there's no spare slots do they have a maximum inventory that would wreck everything that would really wreck everything if they have a maximum inventory oh I don't know I don't know um hmm I'm not sure on that I'm not I'm I, they do Then that might cause a problem. I, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, but doing it that way is a bit of a waste of a well. But wells are cheap. Well, wells are just a couple of stone into wood, um, and then we have the pipe underneath, and it will keep everything very simple. Um, and we have space for it because there's four a four space next door to it because of how we've done the thing. So we could put a well next to each house, and then each house has its own free well, free water. So I might do that. I might do that. I might go round through that. I'm not, I'm not going to do that on camera. That would be very tedious, very slow. Um, uh, um, and and the only way I can find out if I've done it successfully is here. So this gets a hundred percent, because then I would know if this is not a hundred percent, I missed the house somewhere because we're doing it via each house. So that's probably the best way to do it. Uh, 
coming down this here, everything looks good. We've got a couple of like books are struggling. The knowledge tomes are really struggling, and I think that's purely uh where are my knowledge tomes? Knowledge tomes here. Um that's an ether thing. We don't have enough ethers um coming and it's weird. It's a weird ether thing because Oh, it's just the package isn't unpackaged fast enough. Okay. Okay, that's not so bad. We can fix that. We can fix that with Steam. We can fix that with Steam. So, um, but anyway, I'm getting distracted. I'm getting distracted before we even started doing things here. We want to do our cloth thing. Uh, we want to do, um, we want to do our, uh, our two robes. That's what we'll do here. Um, so that's what we want to do. That's the thing. Uh, okay. So let's have a look see here. So let's put this down here. Boom. And you are. All the things we need, we did this already. You are all the things we need for it. Can I copy you and paste you on top of a... Uh, s no, stop, pause, I just pasted that on top of that train. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Um, nails, you are nails. Nail. Yeah. Okay. No, I can't paste it on top of there. Okay, so what do we need? We need... Uh, cloak, wool, shirt, leather. Boom. Cloak, wool, shirt, leather. Turn that on. Okay. And, and this one, I'm going to remove that because that's not a thing. So you're going to fill with cloak, wool, shirts, and leather. Now, are we moving cloaks and wool? I don't remember. Um... I assume we're moving them. I know we're moving cloak. I know we're moving wool and leather. Um, and cloaks we're moving because we have cloak in here. So I guess we're moving cloaks. Shirts I don't know about. We'll see. We'll see. If the shirts never turn up, then we know. Um, okay. Okay. And what I want to do is I want to copy one of these. Um, let's move the two houses out away from them. Copy that. And... We don't have enough mana brick. 260 mana brick is required to do this. Um, we have... Oh, nowhere near enough. Nowhere near enough. Hmm. Um, not really sure. To store more, we need to store more in here. Um, I, yeah, this one. So uh, I did change this up to be uh, each one is feeding a house, and we've done that. I might have done that on camera. I don't remember what I've done on camera. What I haven't. Um, uh, confusing me. Um, this can store two hundred mana brick. Um, oh, I suppose that's it. that's an issue with this. If I package the stuff. Um, then we don't yeah we can't use it yeah so i need i need to i need to stop that i need to I, I, this actually wants to be an unpack unpack from crate go underground to here and this wants to be uh, item crate okay and then you want to be um uh no, just grab everything okay that's what we we'll do. We want to actually unpack all the stuff and put it there so we can use it ourselves. Packing it's not great. The other place we will leave it all packed up. Uh, the other town centre we will leave it all packed up and uh, then we can move things around. Um, which is fine. Uh, but this one I want to leave it. I want to, if, if we get any packed goods in here for whatever reason, say we delete something on, the, on a belt, we will unpack it and dump it back into the town centre. Um, so, yeah, that will, that will make a lot more sense. Okay, okay, right. So we have 150 mana brick. Um, I suppose what I can do is just build a couple of these and delete them again. Bom, bom, bom. And that will increase our mana brick because we're converting the mana brick from here. Over 200. I need 260. So one, two, three, and then delete, delete, delete. And that takes it out of the barn and puts it into the uh, warehouse, basically into the town centre. Um, I don't think you use the town centre first. I think it's um it uses the warehouse first. I'm not sure on that. 
non c'è nessuno No, nope, it uses the town center first and then goes to bombs. Okay, because the number was not going up and down. But then when you delete it, it goes back to the town center. So there we go. Okay. Okay, and then you can refill and uh, we have 300 now, which is awesome. So now we can do this copy and we can paste. Uh, and I'm going to rotate this around because I don't know what was rotated 90 degrees. Weird. Uh, okay, and then we can do it again once we get to 200, but we're not going to get to 200 in time soon because um, we need to uh, do our thing. So let's do this one. Let's do this one. This one's going to be uh, Magic Coke. Copy, paste, paste, paste. And Magic Coke requires mana. Right. Uh, so first and foremost, let's go to the mana pipe layer. Have a look, see here. What are you... Completed crystals, purified crystals, okay, so that's good. We can just copy that and paste it there. Awesome, we just need to add mana crystals to it. Um, and then we need to do uh, magic cloaks and wool. So let's do magic cloak, or cloak, sorry, not magic cloak, we're making magic cloaks here. Boom, boom, and then the top one is going to be wool. Awesome. Uh, and then we're going to go under here and wool. Under here, go magic cloak and you or cloak, sorry, magic cloak. I'm gonna paste those and that to there, and then we're gonna change this up to be uh, uh, right. Okay, so I've got this as a hundred. I don't think we're going to really sell these. I mean, we might sell them. I don't know. Cloak. Wool. I don't know if we're going to sell these or not. I can't remember. I can't remember. Let's have a look-see here. Uh, no, we're going to sell books, so we don't need to sell these. Okay, so they don't actually even need to go to the packager. Uh, so what I can do is... Um, do that delete that and then move that to there um, and by doing that I have just uh, reset it down to 50 and then we can delete the packager and put a barn up here because this is purely going to be for us uh, doing things um, like I could have done here rather than package these goods I could have um, just put a barn up there rather than storing 100 down the bottom do you know, do you know what do you know what no, no, no we are gonna we are gonna do do that we're gonna Keep with the conform. I'll grade this once to 100. There you go. Boom. Okay. And then we just need to add in uh, our coin boosters here, I think. Uh, where are we? Coin boosted to the max for these. Uh, just do that again. Boom. Uh, oh, yes, because obviously with our happiness bonus, um, it's no longer one to one, is it? It's now uh, way more. So this is working at 3.6 a second and these two every six seconds. So yeah, they're going to struggle to keep up. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, right, let's grab. Um, you know what, we'll grab both. We'll dump 40 crystals. I, d I don't remember exactly how many crystals I was putting into what places. So, um, and it doesn't matter because they vanish. So, <laughs> we'll just go with 40. We'll just dump 40 crystals into here and that'll do. And we'll see what happens with 40. And there, there we go. Oh. Right. Um, and then we're up to 340 mana brick now. Woo! So we can copy this one. Dump it there. Off. And this one is going to be our magical robe. A wizard's robe and hat. Paste, 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 and then you want to be magical rope, and that is leather and chips. Leather, 
and check. Let us copy, copy, paste, 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 and then that's. And then just add the upgrades to these. Oh, do I wish you could copy um, coin upgrades? It's really strange because when you copy a barn uh, using using this mode, using the, the tab mode here, when you copy a barn that way, it copies the upgrades for it. But it doesn't copy the upgrades for recharges and things. Very bizarre. I don't know why. Um, why does it do that? So. Uh, it doesn't copy the blue copy if even if I had it to uh enchant it add a blue blue coin boost to it and I copied it, it would not work. It wouldn't do it. So very, very weird. Very, very weird indeed. Okay, so let's have a look see here. No, we do not have a shirt train. Let's get a shirt train. Where are we making shirts? Down here. Uh, and this is our artist. Off. Oh yes, that's something else that I have noticed is a weird thing. Um, when you enlarge this window, it enlarges down but doesn't enlarge across, which is not intended, I'm guessing, because it doesn't even shrink across as well. So, uh, yeah. Uh, okay, go. There we go. Right, so you. Ah. What? Oh, maybe we. Oh no. Haven't added shirts to this. Maybe we did have a shirt train. I just haven't added shirts to it. Oh well, we got two shirt trains now. This one doesn't have shirts on it either. We did have a shirt train. It wasn't ever coming down here. There you go. Now we have a shirt train. Awesome. So you're gonna dump shirts in there. Cool. So we now need four coming off here. Two going here, which is wool and that, and two going here, which is that and that. So we're gonna do. Uh, one, and then we're just going to do one above. And do one leaf. Zoom. Do uh, here. Hold control to keep it up in the air. to grab uh, make sure we grab the right things in the right places but the first one is going to be cloak and wool nope don't push a cloak and wool and the second one is going to be shirts and leather yeah. and leather and there we go there we go oh I need to add a mana to the second one don't I as well I need to actually uh, do the thing there. There we go. Uh, boom and boom. And away you go. And we are done. We are done. And it only took me a million episodes uh, to finally get this done that I was going to do ages ago. But then we discovered all sorts of problems with the system. Um, and that's going to be a theme for a little while whilst we're doing things here. But yeah, so there we, are. we have shirts. We have magic cloaks. Uh, yes, we are packaging some for no good reason. It's fine. It's fine. We can pack them. Not a problem. Uh, this is purely just for our airships to come along and do things there. Um, awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Now, we're not actually doing the things here properly. I need to do something about this. So, um, now... What if I try input only? We build an airship. Can an airship pull out of the input only slot? I don't think it can. 
no we can't even select there the, the input only shop okay so what i need to do then is uh we're gonna have to do some logic with that we're gonna have to do some logic with that we'll get some logic on that um and we will uh, go here and here with logic and say hey if there's less than 100 um turn them off and if there's more than 100 turn them on and we can sell the extra so that's the only way to do that i can think of um, because there's no other um your input output off storage that's it there's no uh yeah there's no way to grab out of there so yeah so we'll store 100 in there and it will keep 100 back and then we'll sell the rest okay so that's the plan for the future we'll do the logic in the next episode that's nice and easy I can do logic. I like logic. Logic is good. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this one. And I hope to see you again in the next one. And until then, as always, have fun.